Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. I'm Chaz. Hi, I'm Stacy. And we are here in downtown Louisville because? Well, Chaz, we are in downtown Louisville on Main Street, or some folks call it Museum Row, for the nearly dozen attractions that are within a four block walkable radius. And today we're gonna check out two attractions, the old 502 winery, which has tours and Fall City beer. But we're gonna start out at a new restaurant called Atlantic Number no. 5, so I've heard a lot of good things about it's it. yummy. Let's go. Let's go. Stacey, what a great place to wind down an episode than in Luvino's, a great new place here in the Highlands on Barstown Road. You got that right. And speaking of puns, I love this place because of their wine flights and the great names they have associated oh, yeah. with Louisvillians or people associated with Louisville. So, for example, I had the King Louis flight that was uh, Wines Fit for Kings, named after the uh, person the city was named after. They have a Jennifer Lawrence, a Louisville native that's um, young and bubbly. Uh, they have a Diane Sawyer flight, also from Louisville, classic, respected Chardonnays. And you had the Patino's uh, yep. Pinos, yes. right, for Coach Rick Patino. Uh, I'm a Muhammad Ali, uh, packed with a punch uh, on some reds. Anyway, I could go on and on about the wine list. Oh, but it's, but it's what a great ambiance. It's a great vibe. The, the food, the atmosphere, it's, it's just wonderful. So speaking of food, I'm going to run through what we had. Uh, we had a tasting menu is what they have. They're largely known for. We had the hot brown mac and cheese with a smoked gouda on it, served in the cast iron skillet. We had the fried chicken tacos. Oh, uh, oh my God. I don't eat fried food, but my gosh. You don't. You incredible. were chowing those down, weren't you, on yes. a bed of garlic mashed oh, potatoes. Incredible. We had scallops with a whipped goat cheese on the side. We had the bacon wrapped date stuffed with blue cheese. And then probably my favorite, a little bit of health, although they were fried too, were the Brussels sprouts oh. with the fried corn awesome. and a little bit of um, green tomato, fresh green tomato that added a little tartness to it. And these are the beignets with the dipping sauce and the edible flour. And I think that's going to go really well with the rest of the red wine we have left. Absolutely. What a great day we had, Absolutely. right? So we checked out Old 502 Winery, um, Kentucky's only urban winery. Uh, that was also part of uh, Fall City Beer uh, operation was there. And one of the fun things about the uh, tasting at Old 502 was the souvenir glass that you uh, got at the end. I thought that was really a great thing because not only is it a great experience, but then you get to take your glass and I'm like, I've never been to a tasting where they give you the glass. Right. So there's a lot going on in bourbon country. There's great wineries now. The craft beer scene is exploding. Basically, this is just a very spirited town, do you think? Absolutely. So for more information about this episode, please go to gotolova.com or send us an email, podcast to gotolova.com, or you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So as always... You're looking at Louisville. See you real soon.